Today's gospel is a familiar story. It's easy to follow it from a Thomas perspective. Many times he's been called Downing Thomas. And people wonder, where was he the night of the resurrection? But I like to think we can change our focus. Let's focus on Jesus. He comes to them mighty and sudden. He breaks into the life of the disciples once again. He brings them gifts. He brings them a gift of peace. Despite all the fears they had of the Jews or what's going to happen to them in their own lives, he says, peace be with you. And isn't that what everybody wants? A sense of peace. To conquer the fears, to conquer the doubts. He also brings a sense of forgiveness. Forgiveness for the guilt of where were they during that Friday. Or any guilt of blaming one another or the Jews or anybody else. No, that's not the way to live. You're forgiven, and so you should also forgive. But to return to Thomas, a week has gone by, and he's probably very sheepish as he is with the disciples and the Blessed Mother. What can you believe these days? He's dead, he's alive, what's going on? And then once again, Jesus breaks into their lives, though the doors were locked. They never knew when they'd see him again or when he would return. But once he comes in and says again, peace, and turns to Thomas in a special way and says, showing his hands in his side. I know, I know you feel badly, but do you want to be friends again? Thomas is overcome. He just says, my Lord, my God, more than ever. The same is said for us. On this Divine Mercy Sunday, we have the chance to be able to recognize what is our belief? What is our love? Where do we get our sense of peace? Are we feeling forgiven if we believe that Jesus died for our sins? In the midst of all the many things, past, present, or yet to come, personal or the world situation, Jesus is present and he breaks into our lives to be able to give us a new start to be able to believe once again. So as we come together, let us have our come to Jesus moment. We are Thomas. And to be able to say once again that God brings us, gives us peace, forgiveness, friendship, and faith. And we're called to share them with one another. Welcome your Lord and your God.